Hi there, Jag here, your Office 365 guy. I create daily learning videos on Office 365. If you want to learn Office 365, you know, connect with me on LinkedIn or join the online academy, um, the Modern Work Academy that is, and you will, you will learn new stuff along with me every day. All right, let's jump into the, uh, the content of today's uh, video. So one of you have, act, uh, have actually reached out to me asking, you know, Jack, it's good that you've been showing us, you know, the flow, uh, how, you know, some automations, you know, in, in, with respect to OneDrive for Business using Microsoft Flow. So I'm, I'm quite new to Flow. So how do I actually troubleshoot, um, you know, the workflows inside uh, Microsoft Flow? So that's that's what we're going to learn today, all right? Uh, so let's jump in. The, I'm going to show you my screen and then I'll walk you through the different ways of actually troubleshooting, you know, debugging errors in Microsoft Flow. All right, uh, here I'm logged in as JAG and I'm actually in my one of my flows that I've actually showed you in the previous vlogs. Here you can actually see, you know, to, first of all, to see the um, to know whether the flow has actually succeeded or failed, you know, you, you always need to refer to something called run history, okay? And here you can actually see the, the, the you know, the history of that have been executed, okay? Um, so here you can actually see there's two f um, runs which, which failed, okay? And it tells you straight away, look for this uh, red uh, icon. And um, it, it's, it's telling me that, you know, both these workflows have failed. So let's go and see what's what happened. So it, it's clearly saying that the uh, flow run failed and you can actually see it, it tells you at which step the workflow has failed. OK, uh, this, you know, f f if you're using in you know, a SharePoint designer workflows and, you know, for you to debug such things is to be really hard, but that it's so easy in, in, in Microsoft Flow. You could see, oh, this particular step is failed because there's this uh, red uh, failed icon, okay? And if you click on it, you can actually see that it's telling, you know, giving you a, uh, a vague answer, uh, in a reason why it failed, it's called bad request. So now if you actually, in the details pane itself, as you can see, the, it, it actually provides you much more detailed error report. You know? It's saying that the selected file doesn't contain template elements. So this particular uh, con uh, action co populate a Microsoft Word template. It actually requires certain controls, content controls on the actual Word document itself. And you know, the, the input for this action is missing that. And, and there you go, that's how it's actually telling you uh, in, in a detailed error message saying that it's actually not it doesn't actually have the controlled um, co content controls on it so uh, that's that's how you uh, you actually go and find uh, look for errors and fix them and actually also let's go ahead and if you edit this flow here you can actually have uh, there's there's something called flow checker okay once you've created a flow checker you could actually uh, open it and you can actually see how many errors or how many warnings there are in in, in your flow it uh, the flow checker is good good thing about flow checker is actually it keeps track of your flow okay so here you can actually see um, in 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 an example of, uh, flow here you could see that it's already showing it's telling me that okay I've missed a required field inside one of these uh, uh, in a actions called create share link and it's telling me that the file path is required and also you can actually see, see in the actual flow checker itself that you know if uh, if you click on that it'll tell you that you know the same error it appears again as well so that's that's another way of uh, making sure that the flow is that's how you debug a flow and the other thing to note also with the flow uh, debugging or errors is is if if, if a flow keeps erroring out, uh, Microsoft automatically, uh, you know, turn turn off uh, the, will, will turn off the workflow and it'll send an email notification to you telling, uh, to the owner of the flow that, uh, you know, one of your flows has is, is been turned off due to reason, whatever reason that is. So there you have it. Uh, that's how you debug your workflows inside uh, Microsoft Flow. Hope you learned something new today. And if you did, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn or, uh, you know, follow me if you, if you prefer that way. Thanks a lot and I'll see you back in the next video. Cheers.